Hello guys, today I would like to just show you how to change your old device, which is Samsung A5 to the Raspberry Pi to a working server with the GNOME environment plus SSH. You can also uh, download and install Docker. So I have installed it, but we will just install from the very beginning. So now first you need to go for the download mode. You're keeping the buttons volume down, menu and, and power button. You click continue it's supposed to be in download mode okay so we are just attaching uh, it to, to our computer and we are running to if you would like to install uh, let's say application which will change our phone uh, old phone to the to the working server so then you need to put uh, some comments uh, which will be as well uh, down below so it git, it git clone um, as you can see that I, I have it uh, it's called uh, Postmarket OS. Of course, uh, I strongly recommend you to check on the web page how many uh, how many devices you can change to uh, to the uh, to the server. Uh, the best, I think, price uh, versus versus device and plus working things, because sometimes you can have a device which, uh, for instance, Wi-Fi will be laggy. Uh, so then it's uh, it's Samsung A4 2015, and it's cheap. It's ultra cheap. Okay, so now I'm just pasting like uh, 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 how to install it. So command it's not found because I already installed it, uh, but you can you can just do it. You need to flash bootloader for the very beginning, and to do so you need to go to the web page, which uh, it will be on the link down below. But I'm, I'm attaching it here. You can just uh, you can just check that. But for for Samsung, a bootloader uh, called uh, uh, this one EMG. Uh, in the web page, everything will be written which one you need to download for your device. But for Samsung, it's like this. So if you would like to just uh, install it, so as we, we have in the download mode our uh, device, so then we are just putting like Hemdire Flash and Boot, plus we need to put uh, this, uh, this download EMG, which normally you can find uh, in your download. So I can just drag and drop. Where, where it is and just click flash and that's it. So now you can just check that uh, it's flashing and it's downloading the PIT file and so on. So everything has been flashed and it's running. If you already install your Postmark or S or you have uh, issues that uh, it bootloader, it's not going to, to show up. So now you need to keep volume up, menu and power button to get this menu which is uh, which is built in a uh, clearing menu and then you're just going to white data factory reset and then you uh, you can just click factory reset click yes then you just uh, reset the flash and now you can just reboot to the system it's only helpful when you have uh, issues to obtain this screen but now we have this screen which is our proper one so once you have this screen with a start here then you can just run with the terminal once again so we are going and now uh, we need to just just flash we are just uh, preparing the flash for the very beginning so we just put a pen strap int now uh, system is asking us where uh, where we can just have a, a, a work path so I'm st uh, staying with the same which I have. Then uh, which release I would like to uh, just flash it. I can just say that, okay, 21.12, uh, uh, that will be latest release. Then what is the vendor? So you need to check uh, which one is it. So you can have on a, a device list, which one is it? And then you can just change it. For me, it's Samsung, uh, code name is A5. So, so this one is A5, so I'm not changing it. Uh, enable this package, so it's a Wi-Fi, GPU, modem, video, firmware, and so on. So I'm just keeping it. Now uh, uh, this provider, it's default. Uh, so and the username, username we can just say Docker, but maybe uh, we will change it to uh, to uh, Samsung Pi. Samsung Pi. Okay. And now uh, we have a list 
uh, as you can see here, we have a list of environments. So if we would like to have this posh, which is the best for, for the mobile device and it's uh, GNOME. So I think we can just uh, use this posh. Uh, if you would like to change for Plasma Desktop, Plasma Mobile or any other, you can, you can now, you can put uh, like which one you would like to do. Okay, I'm just uh, running with the posh change them. So if you would like to have a, a extra free space, but it doesn't apply because I will show you how to flush it for, uh, for the internal, um, internal storage, extra packages, you can, you can put VIM, uh, for somehow, which is the time zone. I'm located in time zone Europe, Warsaw, which is okay. Choose different local. Uh, so it's also, um, it's okay. And that, and now, uh, host name. So we can change the host name will be uh, Pi-hole um, Pi -hole server or we can say that it's Samsung server. Okay, Pi-hole server, let's say. Build it outdated packages, no. Uh, Zap existing, I don't know what is it, uh, but I can just uh, put yes, apply. And now we choose everything which I, uh, we would like to have. Okay, so now if you, we would like to build, it, uh, build this, we need to put like bootstrap install. So now we are just installing it. Not, we are not now installing on the device. We are just, let's say, building it uh, in order to flush it to our device. So next step will be just to flush it. And a few seconds we need to wait. Okay, now we can just put the password and retype our password. So it updated successfully. And now we're waiting for, for the final steps. All right, now everything is done. Now we need to paste a few comments. First, fastboot erase system. So we'll just erase everything which, uh, which we have inside. So now we erased everything. Then uh, we need to flush this partition. So remember to use full uh, bootstrap flusher flush with the partition user data, then you have access to this 16 gigabyte internal storage. So now we are just clicking. Now we are just flashing Alpine Linux to our device. Now when everything is flashed, uh, we need to use two more comments. And now the comment is shut down. So Bootstrap will be shut down our system. Plus we can just reboot our device. And generally we are just rebooting our device now as you can see that it will start. So we need to wait a few seconds. And now we have post market OS totally install it. So what we need to do is go to the settings because it's GNOME, it's portable version and just connect to our Wi-Fi in order to have a SSH access for that. So once it's connected to Wi-Fi manually, then we can check the address of the device. Now we can just access to our device as for the Raspberry Pi or any other Linux device. We are just going into how to install Docker. It's sudo, uh, you can have inst instruction down below. I just already uh, install it. Then you need to add to the group your, your username. So sudo add group apply to the Docker, then RC there this device. Then you need to allow Docker to boot on start and then you're just rebooting your device. Then device will be rebooted. And now your Docker will automatically start. Okay, now we, we are logged once again after restart. We'll just install PyHole and check how everything goes. So PyHole, it's clearing our internet from advertisements. So it's really helpful to have something like this. So we, we're just putting our PyHole container. Now it's downloading. And if we, we would like to just check PyHole. So now we're just calling PyHole. And as well, we are in. So generally, as you can see that we, we change like Samsung, old Samsung phone, which, which is trash. And you can, you can just buy it for 10 to 20 euro. And then you can, you can just change it to the fully functional Linux device. It's Alpi Linux. So everything which you would like to install there, you can just find how to operate in Alpine Linux. So it's really lightweight. And of course, everything works. So most of the, of the functionalities, they are working in this phone. So still you can just make a phone calls, uh, send uh, messages and, and so on. Thank you. Goodbye.